All right, guys, I want to hit you up on a throwback video of a table curl that I did for Uncle John's arm PR when he used to do those. If you remember Uncle John's arm PR, he would give you different, it was like a challenge of sorts on who could do the most weight under a certain set of parameters, so we tried to keep it even. Bowen, of course, got in there and muddied up the whole fucking situation all the time. Simple directions, and Bowen loved muddying that world up. So... I basically went back to this video because I just watched a video of Bacho doing a 70 kilogram, kind of like locking and, and, and bringing up type of curl. And it was 70 kilograms. I said, wow, that's, you know, got to be super elite level for arm strength, especially, you know, at any weight, at any weight, just being able to lock that and haul it up. And I was wondering, I was like, what did I do? So I think I did somewhere around that for the challenge, but the challenge was, your arm had to be raised up enough so that your forearm started parallel. And it had to be more of a driving curl. Like you could move a little bit, but it had to be almost like a curl as opposed to a lock and pop. So, I mean, I think that that will dull the numbers down. As well as uh, shoulders had to be square. It couldn't be so much like, you know, sideways. So it had to be pretty much a bicep driven thing from a parallel angle, picking up parallel, not kind of under here where you start that way. And the video I show, I did uh, 164 and change. And, you know, if I lock it and, and roll it up, I can get way over that number, which is a testament to arm strength. Do I think table curls matter? Let's talk about that first. Yes, I do. There's so much information out there saying, now I'm not saying you should train these all the time. There's probably more efficient ways of training your biceps, your lock angles that are conducive. But if you want to just get your arms strong on that downward pressure, you're pulling with a guy who hooks and drags on you. You're pulling with somebody who wants to chop on you. Uh, you know, if you just want to make your arm good and strong in an area like this, yes, I think that the table curls carry over. You show me somebody with a big table curl number, if they're not doing it in a ridiculous way, getting under the table, kings moving it, getting too far separated on this angle, if they can hold an angle and drag it up, well, it would be fair to say that they could stick it at a table and for you to go down or drag out on them or push or whatever is going to have a very strong sticking point. Maybe even unpinnable, depending on how strong you get that number. I heard that that was Al Turner's bread and butter. But of course, with the, with the way the elbow, point of the elbow plants, it can be hard on the elbow. I think, um, yeah, if, if you get that number up, I think you'd see your defensive power. Now, let's get past the myth. People say it's stupid because you don't want to train yourself to be in that position. That's donkey talk. I don't care how experienced and seasoned and, and respectable the puller is. To ignore that spot just because you don't want to be there? Motherfucker, please. These things will happen. If you get a ref who allows someone to get a little more of this, I've had refs that have started me completely supernated. And even when I pulled Zurab and when I pulled Craig Toulier, these guys in the setup know how to start with there all of a sudden and it's go and, and you're already under. The thing that got me out of that Craig Toulier match when the start was so horrendous was the fact that my bicep was able to wither all that dragging and downward pressure until I could pull it center table. But if you look at that match, I was sitting there 100% just like this, bang, bang. Of course you don't want to be there. We all want to be in control. But what happens when two motherfuckers want control? Only one of them is going to be right. Someone's going to be off balance a little bit. So training only offensively, like 12 o'clock to pin line, is like being a boxer and you're training only to punch people. Just go in front of a fucking punching bag and just punch. Don't worry about your balance when you miss. Don't worry about not getting hit. <coughs> Show a boxer... Only how to punch, but don't teach them anything about defensive tactics and how to cut off lanes and move in the ring and and move his fucking head. And he's going to be a boxer who's not going to go very far and get a lot of brain damage. You have to train this. What if somebody's quicker than you? What if somebody times it almost like a false start, but the ref doesn't call it? What if there's a little bit of bias because, oh, God forbid, refs aren't biased. I've never been anywhere where they just won't call their buddies fucking elbow this far off the pad or this far off the back or you got the motherfucker buried in the pin line his his fingers are this far underneath the motherfucker and they they just refuse to call it hoping he comes back 20 years in the sport 
There's guys out in there that watch these videos that have been there a lot longer than me, but I've seen enough and my eyes are open to, 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 to ne neglect training a position like this. Go watch John and Taras Ivankin and see what saved him in that match. He wasn't the quicker guy, and he didn't necessarily have full control off the start. He was kind of here, and he dug. Ron Bath does it. Those two guys from here, if that match stops, do not think, oh, that's not a good position. Motherfucker, you just found yourself in a bad spot because that's home for them. The Krazi, Zoluev, Rustum, myself. I was never coined as a fast guy. I'm trying to change that. But I'm starting to learn. Uh, I learned that my arm was strong enough here that people would fade and die. Even when I just like to hook. I've always tried to be more of a control puller, but through some shoulder injuries, I lost this sideways game, and I would catch here. So I'm not going out and telling anyone to go and, and do these um, like as a primary. But if you did make it your primary, I see nothing wrong with having an arm that's ridiculously strong. Sometimes you can make defense your actual game. Think about Crazy George. Everybody got control of him to here, and then they faded and died. Michael Todd. Some guys just like that way their body lines up and they fall here and they're nice and coiled and everyone else, when they try to bang and go crazy, blows their fucking load. Just because it goes more than one second doesn't mean that you were in that match. You go hit John over here and he kind of coils in and has to sink his feet and reposition. You don't realize how big the gap is to close that last two inches to pin that guy. Now, of course, let's not dog on John. He's pulling world-class guys, taking some losses. But let's talk about John, John, okay? So I think this is a great test of arm strength and a great way you could, if you watch your numbers climb, I guarantee you, you will see um, the difference on the table. And as far as the arm strength, I believe that I have a world level elite hook. I lost to Sasho and I lost to Zurab. But what's weird about hooking is you can lose in a hook but, like, if you're the one who wasn't hooking and the other guy was. So, with Sasha and Zarab, I kind of wasn't very polished, didn't execute very well. And I tried to come outside here like this, and then they chopped me down, and now I'm in a hook like this. As opposed to fucking snatching it up in there. And when I pull them again, I promise you, I will hit them sideways and snatch that hook. And then from there, I'll decide if I want to roll or press or drag or whatever. But I will have center line control. You won't see me going like this, retreating. And there is talks that those matches will happen. Those are two boogeymen. And I will pull both of them at some point. Sasha more likely than, than Zurab because he's coming back off a big injury. But there have been talks that that match will happen probably this year. Get my feet back into East-West. Get on the winning side of things. And then maybe make that march. That's my goal. My two boogeymen. Sasha, Zurab. A loss is one thing, but I like to rectify it as well. And I believe it's a very different world when you go to top roll somebody and you kind of get caught here because they were quicker, crisper, and, and then they're bearing down on you with their shoulder and their chest and their triceps and their side press and their fucking elbow, and you're just sitting there hanging out here on like your brachialis. Very different than if you jam a motherfucker up and now you're both here bone-lined trying to drag out on each other. I will put my arm, if I get in there like that, against anyone, anyone, especially within my weight class realm. I've pulled up, I pulled up some of the best hookers on earth. I know where I need to be to be in that zone. So without further ado, here's my table curl. If you guys implement it, balls up. Don't fall into that trap that fucking, you don't want to train that angle. You're going to cut off half the fucking game? You're going to cut off half the game? And it's the old expression, your best offense can be your defense and your best defense can be an offense. Don't fall into that dog shit that people go, you don't want to be here. Well, really? I can show you world champs that are very happy being there. Krazi, I just, I watched him beat Arsene Liliev from there when Arsene Liliev was making a charge at number one in the world. So I can make all these examples, myself included. Now it's about reprogramming this and putting all that strength into the right directions. So... Get your table curl on. Don't buy into the noise if you feel like it. At the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with the surplus of strength. Natty daddy time. This should be in that 165 range. I'll have to 
weigh it after. I just add a couple more pounds. Forearms parallel, shoulders square. Alright, right? Here come the hot stepper, murderer.